All right, guys, so before I start this video, I want to give a huge shout out to Calamity Tough. Now, I hope I pronounced your name right. I know you said on Twitter your name is Calamity and stuff smashed together now she's actually one of my twitter followers and thank goodness she is i'm looking right at you calamity tough thank you so much for sending me that notification on twitter because apparently she's already built all the picky chapters inside of minecraft and more so i can definitely 100 percent see people in the comment section below saying i copied her uh, guys i just build stuff on minecraft i don't look things up and thank goodness I upload stuff to Twitter before I put them out on YouTube. Because luckily she was one of my Twitter followers. Thank goodness you were one of my Twitter followers, Calamity Tough. Because you saved me there. Now her entire piggy playlist will be in the description below. You know, her, her piggy house is just a little bit more compact than mine. I mean... <laughs> my, my piggy house is a monster compared to hers. But if you decide to build my piggy house... And you want to build more. She's done every single one already. And she's done even extras on top of that. So make sure to check out her playlist. So you can build all the piggy chapters you possibly want to build. Now we're going to go ahead and start up on this video guys. It's a very long video. So let's get right to it. Hello everyone, Fetty here, and welcome back to another How to Build video. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to build Piggy Chapter 1 inside of Minecraft Bedrock. So, I'm going to be building this entire thing with you, so no spacings are really definite. I'm going to make sure we get into everything, and you're also going to have to be able to dig down at least 11 blocks. So, if you want a custom Flatlands world like I have right here, inside of Minecraft Bedrock on the Xbox or the PS4, I'll go ahead and have a link to that video in the description below. I should hopefully have it out before this video but let's go ahead and get inside of this build so here is the front area of the building we're going to go ahead and walk in into the living room area or just like kind of a open area that leads up into all the ones now i'm going to go from the basement and work my way up so like i said we are going to have to dig down 11 blocks if we want to do the basement and the garage all the way at the bottom so if we open up this door come down this staircase we have a little room right here with a safe, I believe, is right here, and then a table. Now, I never played this game. I actually watched a lot of people playing this game, so I can build this entire thing. And this is the Roblox version. This is not the iOS and Android version. So if you see some colors that seem off, this is the Roblox version, not the iOS and Android version. Then right over here, we have a room which has the wrench and key. And I watched a couple of people play. Do the, I don't know if the items change where they go. So <laughs> it sometimes seems like keys and the wrench and the everything and the... The hammer were in different places so i kind of just went with the one video i saw so this is a wrench and that's a key and then this leads over to the backyard but we'll get to that later on and then over here we have the door that leads down into the garage with that broken down car now i didn't go crazy with the car i kind of just made this makeshift car right here but here is the garage area and then we just have a little room right over here on this side so let's go ahead and work our way back up to floor one and then we'll go through floor one because actually my favorite part of this whole build because I like, I like decorating. I like decorating, and this build is a it is a Roblox build, so there's not really much decorations to do in it. Now, my favorite place was the dining room. <laughs> That's where like really all the decorations kind of popped. They had a table, they had stuff on the table, they had plants, they had pictures. So this is the only room in this whole entire place that I really, really enjoyed building was this dining room area. And I wish I could make that fruit bowl. That fruit bowl looked amazing, and I wish I could recreate that in Minecraft. But I really couldn't figure out a way. But there is supposed to be a fruit bowl here. You know, there's the open pizza box, a plate, a telephone. And then there's a teapot that I just used a skeleton skull on. And then when we work our way over to here, we just have another little room. Which I think there was an, actually an item here as well on this table. But every time I watched someone play, it seemed like it changed up a little bit. And I don't know why this door is open right now. But right here is our little kitchen area. Now, like I said, now if you want to change any of the colors in the build, you're free to do it. I kind of went with what I thought looked really good. So I just went with like a black stone right here and then you know stone bricks to make this kitchen area which i thought came out pretty nice and there's supposed to be a fruit bowl here but i just <laughs> I could not figure out how to make a fruit bowl and then you know we have the kitchen area then we can hop on out to this area over here but we're not going to go out there just yet then we have a little room right here with a table and a couch and then there's another item over here in the, the left hand corner and then we work our way over here and there is a closet inside here with another item and then this door right here just brings us back to the main area now the reason why i like going through the build as well because if you don't want to watch me do the tutorial this can just give you an idea of how to build this thing you can build your own in your own minecraft world that's the great thing about minecraft if you need to watch someone else's tutorial you can go into your world and make it your own you don't really have to watch the tutorial but now if we go out this door right here we just have another little area that leads over to the backyard area where the well is 
and then we have that kind of little shack area and i also added in this right here which is just some fence posts and carpet just so you know you can walk right up and down right here because in the backyard kind of goes down a little bit so I kind of added that in. I thought that was a really good idea. So then it could kind of match with the grass as well. And then over here is where like those cogs go, you know, where you have to put the cogs in to get out of the house at the end. And that pig thing is <laughs> trying to kill you the whole whole separate way. Also, I saw someone, I, I watched like four videos and people kept trying to get in this window and they couldn't do it. And then I watched one video with a dude in Roblox and he just went like this, it went right in the window. He knew exactly what to do. So I was like, I guess I'll add something in here so you could jump up into the window in the kitchen area because I saw this guy do it on Roblox. So I just added a couple trap doors there so you could jump up into the window. And then right back here, this opens up after you do a few couple, well, a couple of other things, this will open up. And then this just leads back over into the basement area and then we have another like safe thing right here table some i think there's sometimes a key on this table as well but then if we run right here we can go through this area and if you're wondering what this water is for i'm building this on minecraft bedrock so we can't just simply put a i know on pc you're allowed to just put a trap door and a button well I'll, i won't do it but you're allowed to just put a trap door and a button and then you can crouch on bedrock we cannot do that so we have to use water to crouch inside of minecraft bedrock so there we go we went through our little one high spacing right there and now we can work our way up to the second floor of this build so that's the entire bottom and backyard area so now let's go ahead and work our way up to the second floor area and this is i believe where you actually start so before we go over there let's go ahead and work our way over here this little room right over here with the bunk bed i'm pretty sure is where we start and there's not really much going on here like i said and a lot of people that played this game that i was watching to kind of figure out how to build this thing would just right away because i guess they're kind of like speed running it would start right away just go like this they go right out the door and i'm like i want to see what's going on inside this room so but i'm pretty sure i got everything i hope i did but people that start this game they just turn right away and they go like this and out the door they go <laughs> so i had a little troubles trying to figure out what was inside of that room and then this is the only kind of vent area i couldn't really get to work and i'm kind of upset that i didn't uh, i put a minecart there but then it just looked weird so i mean it's up to you if you can figure out a, if you want to do a way to make it so you can get through that vent area you're completely free to do that but this is the only one that doesn't work inside this entire build then over here we have the bathroom area and sometimes there's an item right here and there was a vent underneath the sink in the bathroom but i couldn't get that to fit because obviously minecraft so i just put it next to it and you know we can run through it go through it and pop out inside of the kitchen so i just went ahead and came back up here now we can work our way over to uh, this room right over here which is just you know a window and there's two paintings and then a table in that corner nothing really going on inside that room and then if we work our way over here we can go to the third floor of the house and then inside of here there's just the room with i believe like i said i, I don't know i don't know because it seemed like the items were switching up maybe they don't or maybe they changed that in the future where the items switched up so <laughs> i just put a key inside of this room right here and then we'll go ahead and work our way out and you know what, let's go through the vent right now and then i'll work my way back up but there is the vent right here as well so we can go through it and fall down into this area and i put a little bit of water right there at the top too so if you're doing like some sort of hide and seek map or you know putting this on survival you won't really take damage when you hit that water block right there so let's go ahead and just fly back up here so i don't have to walk all the way up the stairs and then there's that little plank area walk across there's just a little room with a couch and one light up in the corner and no one ever looked over here no one ever looked over here to the right so i have no idea what's over here every i watched like 10 people play this this game and no one ever went over here and looked over here so i was like you know what i'm putting a box in that corner and that's what's going in that corner so if there's something else in this corner you're free to add it and then inside this room there's another one of those like little breaker things right here that i just use an observer block we go let's leave that room right there and then if we work our way over to this room there's just another vent inside this area with another couple of items at the end and then this will go ahead and drop us down here into the well i guess right in front of the area where we start so there is the entire piggy house so like i said you don't really need to watch me do a tutorial if you're one of those people that just like to see what's going on inside the world give you an idea of what you could possibly do to make your own you're free to leave the video now but we're going to go ahead and start this tutorial i'm going to go ahead and build the entire thing with you guys we're not going to be doing any definite spacings and things like that you're just going to follow me right along i'm going to be counting out the blocks with you and hopefully this will be a very easy video to follow along and understand for you guys and like i always say with uh these builds that have multiple like layerings to them like chapters there's apparently like 12 chapters to this game so if you enjoy this build and you built it and you like it and you want to see more of these chapters i know there's like 12 of them and this is probably the easiest one to build if you want to see more then leave in likes comments and let me know you want to see more it will really help me on like know that i should do more of this but if not you know no skin off my bones i'm absolutely fine if you don't want to see any more of these videos but let's go ahead and get started up on this tutorial and also one more thing 
for people that do need that definite space and that do need to know how much this is going to take up this entire build is a 56 block long it's 56 blocks and 30 blocks wide and that's going to be from the street so if you have your street right here all you need to do is come out 56 blocks that way and have 30 blocks wide of spacing to add this into your minecraft world so to get started up on our piggy house i love saying <laughs> i love that the game's name is piggy actually it's adorable but <laughs> what we're gonna do is take out some stone break now this is for the people like i said that need that definite spacing if they're putting in this into a, a world that they've already built where the road is where your walkway is you're gonna have to go come out 15 blocks going that way and that's exactly where your door is going to end up now i use stone you can change up the walkway to wherever you want you can change the colors to whatever you want but you just need to make sure coming out from wherever your road is wherever your sidewalk is it's 15 blocks that way so i'm just gonna go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen and fifteen and then we're gonna go ahead and make that two wide so right there is going to be where our door is so i'm gonna go ahead and just put my doors in right here and make sure they're both facing the right way to walk into the door now i know there's only a single door on the front but it's so big and wide on roblox <laughs> so i just did a two-door front so let's go ahead and finish this up right here so 15 blocks for wherever your sidewalk or road is so first things first let's get started up on the base of our build so that we can add the rooms in because honestly there's a lot of extra room inside of this build as well so if you want to add certain things to this to make it your own there's a lot of extra room inside of this piggy house <laughs> so we're going to come right over here to our doors and we're just going to count over three blocks to the left one two three with our birch wood planks then to the right we're going to count over 14 blocks one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen blocks then counting out that way we're going to count out 16 blocks starting from this first one so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen then we're going to come out one block here and then go that way 12 blocks one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve then from this block we're going to count out that way 28 blocks so starting from this one one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five twenty six twenty seven and number twenty eight next up go ahead and just wrap this right down to the end where it leads into our door so come all the way down to the end and then stop right here where it leads near that door then coming back out from over here where our three blocks are we're going to take out some dark oak wood planks and we're going to come out eight blocks this way so one two three four five six seven eight then we're going to come back over here and just wrap it right to where that birch oak wood is and now make sure there's eight blocks here you might have to break that block over there but one two three four five six seven yep we have to break it eight this should be a eight by eight spacing right here now this next part is very crucial normally people will start up and they're going to build the first floor and then work their way from there however i don't want anything to get in the way when we're building the basement the basement is going to be the hardest part because we actually have to dig inside of minecraft so to build the first part of our basement which is going to be the second part and then there's that third part with the garage but for our first part starting right here at the beginning we're going to come right here to our door and then from the grass or whatever you have here we're gonna count over three blocks one two three break this block right here this is going to be the starting point of the entire first basement i'm trying to make this as easy as possible for you guys hopefully everything works out great so what we're going to do from this block right here is we're going to make a 14 by 14 spacing that's going to be the first basement so we're going to dig out one two so that's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen and now we're going to go that way 14 blocks so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen and fourteen now all you have to do is just connect these two lines together just keep digging out the same way i'm digging out and connect it over to that one right over there you can leave your walkway in that's absolutely fine as long as you know where your 14 by 14 spacing is i'm just doing this now so everything is easy to completely understand now that we have our 14 by 14 spacing 
all we need to do is dig down six blocks for this entire area so you know come back to any one of your corners once again we've already dug down one block so i'll just put an extra block here just in case so one two three four five six now on that six block you're going to have to dig out this entire area completely six blocks down so you know just dig down six blocks in this entire area if you did the whole square like i did you should be absolutely fine with figuring out where you need to dig down in this entire build all right guys in the back and i just went ahead and dug out my 14 by 14 area well i lied i used a command just to fill it in with air but <laughs> i just opened up this 14 by 14 area and i dug down six around the entire thing now what we're going to do is we're going to put our walls around first we're not going to put the flooring in or the ceiling in yet because technically after we put our walls in we still need to dig down more for that garage area as well and if you know if you're just doing this in the sky this is going to be a lot easier for you so <laughs> hopefully you just skip this part if you are doing this thing in the sky but we're going to do is come down here now do not place your wall in here because this is actually where our flooring is going to go so we're going to come up a block and we're going to take out some polished blackstone bricks and we're also going to take out some stone bricks now for the first line we're just going to skip up one block because this is where our flooring is going and we're going to go around the entire thing with black stone bricks so go around the entire thing polished black stone. is it polished yeah polished black stone bricks around the entire outside area and then we're going to come up two blocks with stone bricks around the entire area so go all the way around coming up two rows with our stone bricks so that's one and then here is number two and then what we're going to do is we're going to take out our polished black stone once again and put another row of polished black stone bricks around this entire thing all right guys so this next part is very crucial so make sure you follow along because we're going to have to build a double basement there's a garage underneath the basement i don't know how the car is getting out but the map doesn't really show you that so what we're going to do now is from where our door is from where our door area is we're going to come to this corner right here make sure you count out perfectly with me so now we're going to come right down here into this corner and we're going to count over five blocks one two three four five break that block just so you know exactly where we're going then what i want you to do is going towards the middle of our entire build we're going to dig out 10 blocks from where we just dug out so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and now from this tenth block right here we're going to count over 12 blocks that way so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve right there and you know what we're going to go ahead and just dig out this too <laughs> so just make sure it is a 10 by 12 spacing and you know let's go ahead and just count it one more time from this corner once again we'll count out 12 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 so let's just go ahead you know and wrap it right down over here to where we already opened up this area sorry for the weird graphical things that's just what happens on a uh, flatlands world that you make on minecraft bedrock well a custom one that you make on minecraft bedrock kind of looks weird but now we're going to go ahead and just open up this entire thing just so we can see everything are 10 by 12 spacing so i just quickly went ahead and just dug down one block opening up my 10 by 12 spacing now what we're going to do is dig down four more blocks from the area we dug out if you didn't fully dig out this area just yet then you have to dig down five blocks so you know starting from here then one then go down but if you dug out the little area like i did all you need to do now is just dig down four blocks from here making it a total of five blocks from where we dug down in our first basement so one two three four five blocks in total if you dug out this one area then you know just one two three four that's all you need to know it's just five blocks down from where our original basement area so i'm just going to quickly go ahead and speed up the video once again i'm going to open this all up with some commands and we're going to go ahead and start filling in or well both of the basements and then once the basements are done then we can start working on the house just want to get the basements out of the way because <laughs> once you get the house on top of it it's kind of hard to put the basements in so let's go ahead and just now open up this area all right guys so this is basically what we're looking at right now so far we have our 14 by 14 spacing for our first basement and then five blocks in from this corner one two three four five we have our 10 by 12 spacing for our garage at the bottom so now what we're going to do is just put the blocks around at the bottom we're actually gonna have to open up a few more things for our staircase right here 
but let's just get in our walls for our garage and then we'll worry about that later so i'm going to come to the bottom and across this whole entire floor we're going to fill in the floor with light gray concrete just go around the entire thing you can actually skip this because this is actually where your walling is going to go but you know just make it easier on yourself fill in this entire area with your light gray concrete and then after we fill this in with our light gray concrete we're going to go around the entire outside of the wall with our bricks so once you got your flooring in place take out your brick blocks and we're going to come up four brick blocks one two three four and we're just going to fill in around this entire area with a four high thing of brick blocks i'm going to go ahead and just skip through the video or else we're going to keep seeing those graphic things going off <laughs> in our face right now so all right guys in the back and i just filled in my wall with my four rows of bricks now over here let's come up here for a second from where we come through our front door in that corner right there is where our staircase is going to be going so we're going to take out some stone and stone stairs so come down here to this corner right here and we're just going to make a two high thing of stone right here and we're going to come out one like that then we're going to take out our stone stairs and place stone stairs here 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 break these blocks place two stone stairs here as well and then two more right here leading up into our basement and our basement's going to start up right here well our first basement and then this is going to be our second basement next up there's going to be a small room right here to this side so coming over from your staircase we're going to count over three blocks one two three break out these two blocks this is where that room is going to start now this room on this side is going to be a five by five spacing so you know if you just break into the wall so this is going to be one block and then come out two blocks here one two same thing on this side one two that'll make your five by five spacing so now we're gonna come out this way five blocks one well one two three four five just like that and same thing on this side one two three four five and now go ahead and connect them together well it's actually going to be a six by six spacing because we do have to put the walling in but i'm just trying to make this uh, uh as easy as possible to understand as i possibly can, as as i possibly can so we have our five by five spacing right here and now you know we just got to dig up to make sure our wall is a four high wall so let's go ahead and just dig out this entire area now you should be able to actually see up top a little bit for a split second we're just going to dig out this entire five by five area and make sure our walls are at least four blocks high next up we're going to take out our stone brick and just go around the entire thing breaking out our six block with our stone brick and placing that around the entire thing i'm going to go around the entire thing four blocks like we did over there keeping this five by five spacing you know one two three four five one two three four, five make sure you keep that five by five spacing and just place your bricks along all these walls all right guys in the back and i just went ahead and did all of my walls next up we're just going to take out our light gray concrete once again and fill in our flooring with our light gray concrete and once you have your light gray concrete in just come over here to the back wall and we're going to place in a stone brick staircase upside down stone brick staircase upside down and place slabs in the middle and do that two more times stone brick here stone brick staircase there upside down slabs in the middle upside down staircase upside down staircase and slabs in the middle then we're actually going to take out some brown terracotta and we're going to fill in our ceiling with brown terracotta and that's actually going to be the ceiling for everything because it has to match the flooring with our second basement so let's go ahead and fill in this ceiling right here because some of it you cannot see when you're in the basement so let's go ahead and fill that all in with our brown terracotta it's pretty dark in here so let's just go ahead and add a lantern right in the middle and that's just going to be that little side room right there and now for doors you can use either a spruce door or a dark oak door i think both of those look absolutely fine but i'm going to go ahead and use a spruce door i'm going to place it right there and that will lead into our little room that's in the second basement and then next up over here to the right hand side of this door we're going to make a little wall over here with stone brick walls this kind of looks like a little garage door that's over here even though it leads into dirt but we're going to just skip over three blocks so starting from that door over here on this wall count in three blocks one two three and we're going to break out our wall right here and make sure it's a two on this side and a two on that side and break all the way up to three blocks high then we're going to take out our walls and place all our walls in right here making a kind of garage door looking 
field down inside of a basement where there's no way possible that this car could possibly get out of here. <laughs> but there is our little garage door. Next up, right between our door and our garage door, we're going to take out some spruce wood stairs and spruce trap doors. And we're going to place a spruce wood stair here upside down right in the corner. Skip over block, place another one upside down right here with a spruce trap door right in the middle. Then over here on this side, we're going to count in four blocks. One, two, three, four. Take out your stone brick stairs and your stone brick slabs and place a stone brick stair upside down. And then we're going to count in three blocks from this side as well. Well, four. One, two, three, four. Place in your stone brick stair upside down. So it should be even on both sides. There should be three blocks here and three blocks there. And then take out your slabs and place them in the middle and do that two more times. So one and two. And then place your slabs right in the middle. This will just make some shelving inside of the garage and now it's time to make that makeshift car that looks pretty gross <laughs> so we're just going to come out right from the middle of where our garage door is one block with some cyan terracotta then we're going to place in a block of coal come out two blocks of cyan terracotta one two block of coal cyan terracotta and we're going to do that two times so one and then two I know it doesn't look very good, but I mean, it's a broken down car. You don't really need to go crazy with it. And then right on top of our coal blocks, we're going to take out stone stairs and place some stone stairs facing both ways. And then place more cyan terracotta right in the middle. Then we're going to take out our item frames, place two item frames off the back with redstone blocks inside of them. And then on the front, we're going to place in two item frames as well. And that's just going to be our little makeshift car. Next up, we're going to take out our brown terracotta once again. And now fill in the top of this entire thing with your brown terracotta but just make sure to leave the stairs open for now just so you can go ahead and walk down it the best way to do is just to walk down the stairs and then figure out the best spot to put these in so you don't accidentally hit your head on the stairs. so it should be just like one two three one two three and you shouldn't hit your head on those stairs but let's go ahead and fill in the entire ceiling now of our garage with our brown terracotta and then once you have your ceiling in with your brown terracotta all we're going to do is just take out some lanterns now. And we're going to place four lanterns right above where the car is. So right where the car is, place one, two, three, four, right above the car. And that's going to be the entire second basement done. So let's get working on this basement. So the first thing what we're going to do is take out a brown terracotta and now fill in the rest of this floor. Make sure you leave that open area right there just so you can walk down these stairs. You don't want to hit your head on there and get stuck. And now just fill in this entire floor with your brown terracotta. Now we're gonna go ahead and put in those two rooms that are in our first basement. And this room to the right will also have that little ventilation shaft that will go into the back area over there, but we're not gonna to get to that one until later on towards the end of the video. So what we're gonna do is come right to this corner right here. So where our staircase is, we're gonna come right here to this corner and count over four blocks. One, two, three, four. And then from here, we're going to count out five blocks. One, two, three, four, five. They should be right next to where our stairs are. And then go ahead and just connect those together. Take out your stone bricks once again. Fill this in. Another line of stone bricks. And then another line of polished black stone. And then right in the middle of our five wall, we're going to go ahead and break out these two. And right here is where one of our spruce doors and or dark oak doors are going to be going. So spruce door right here. Open it up and it'll lead into this room. And then right here in this corner, you can go ahead and break out these blocks right here. And then, you know, this will lead over to that other area later on, but we're not gonna get to that right now. And then over here, right next to where our stairs are, it should line up right next to this wall. Take out your black, take out your polished black stone and just bring it right to the end, filling this all in. Take out your black polished stone once again, place it in, and then right in the middle of the five, break out these two blocks and place in your spruce door. And now the reason why we're leaving this open right now, because we have to place another set of stairs right here that's going to lead up to our first floor of the piggy house. Now to get in that second staircase right here, we're gonna come out a block and come out four going that way. So one, two, three, four. Do the same thing on this side. One, two, three, four. So we should be able to still go down our stairs right here. Yep, absolutely fine. We did not hit our head there. And now we're gonna take out our stone stairs. And starting from here, we're gonna place in two stone stairs two here bring out your blocks three one two three one two three take out your stairs once again one two one two one two place in your stairs one two and then place in your stairs one more time and it should look something like this and now that will lead up 
to our first floor of our entire build. So now that we have all our rooms in place right here, we can go ahead and start doing the decorations. So right here from our stairs, we're gonna come over here to the right with some light gray concrete, placing it down here with our item frame inside of it. Then right where we come down these stairs, we're gonna take out some spruce wood stairs and spruce trap doors. I'm gonna come out one block from this side of the staircase and one block out from this side of the staircase, leaving two blocks open right here in the middle. Take out your spruce trap doors and place two right here. So now when we come down the stairs, we have a nice even table right here. Then inside of this room over here, right in this corner, we're gonna take out our spruce wood stairs and place two upside down with a trap door in the middle and then an item frame here, here. Place a bone inside of this item frame and then we're gonna place a tripwire hook inside this one. Make sure you turn it so it looks like the key is facing towards you. Then I'm pretty sure that's it for the props inside of the basement, to be honest. And then, you know, we have to get the ceiling on it and then the lanterns. So now let's go ahead and fill in the ceiling. So the ceiling is going to be the flooring for our first floor. So actually over here first, let's go ahead and place in our grass blocks on this side. And now for the flooring that's going to be right above this entire thing, we're gonna take out some acacia wood. So take out some acacia wood planks and now fill in this entire thing with acacia wood planks right above it. And then we're gonna swing underneath here once again and place in our lanterns. All right guys, in the back, I just quickly went ahead and filled in the entire top area with my acacia wood planks, except right here where my stairs are, just because we have to add in the extra stairs for this area and then we'll fill in the rest of the acacia wood planks and also because I want to come down here and have everything not be super completely dark because now what we have to do is take out some acacia wood planks so take out some acacia wood planks and then right here in this corner above our little safe right here we're going to place in a three by three spacing of planks like that and then right in the middle we're going to take out a lantern and place a lantern in like this and do the same thing on this side a little three by three one, two, three, one, two, three. Place in a lantern right in this corner as well. That's going to be the light. Now what I want you to do inside of this entire room is fill in the entire ceiling with your acacia wood planks. The reason why we are doing this is because later on we have to put in some carpet and I used concrete and we need that room so the concrete does not fall down into the basement. So just go ahead and fill in the entire roof of the basement with acacia wood planks like this and like this. There we go. Now we're gonna do the same thing on this side as well. So we're gonna go ahead and just place in a lantern right here and then go ahead and fill in the rest with acacia planks. And then the same thing on this side as well. We're gonna come inside this room. Then right here off of this corner, we're placing our lantern and then plank the rest of the area up. And there we go. So that's going to be the bottom garage basement completely done. So if we come down here, here's the bottom garage basement. And that's going to be the second base. Well, the first basement, actually, that's the second basement. <laughs> completely done as well. Well, we're not completely done with this one. Later on, we're going to have to make that area that swings into the back corner. Well, courtyard area kind of area. <laughs> How many times can I say area? But it's going to lead into the back of our build over there. So we're going to be coming back to that later on. So now we can finally get started up on the top area of our house. All right, guys, so now that we have our basement done, we're gonna go ahead and figure out where all the rooms are gonna go on our first floor. So first off, we're gonna come right down here to the left-hand side of our staircase right here and just take out our birch oak wood planks once again and bring them all the way down to the end of this area. Then we're gonna swing back down over here and we're gonna count over 10 blocks from right here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, And then we're gonna put a line right here. And this is going to be our dining room area. And we're gonna cap it off right here between these two dark oak wood planks. And then we're just gonna break out these two middle blocks. And that's gonna be the entrance into that little tiny room that's right here. Then from right here, we're gonna count over seven blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven. And we're just going to fill up this line right here with our birch planks once again. And it's going to be another room. And then right back here, we can go ahead and break out these two middle blocks. And that will lead into the backyard. Then back over here at the main area, we're going to come back over here. I'm going to count over 10 blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then from here, we're going to count over 12 blocks, placing down our birch planks. So one, 
2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Then from this block, we're going to count over 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4. Then 4 again to the right. 1, 2, 3, 4. And then wrap this all the way down. And this is going to be another hallway. And this is going to be our main entrance area. Next up, come right here and just swing these planks all the way down to this corner right here. So just bring down your blocks. And then we're going to turn right once we get to this corner right here. And then we can break out these two blocks and that will be another doorway. And then down over here will be another doorway, one block away from it. And then up over here where this room is, we're going to build an 8 by 8 spacing. Some of the space up here will not be used inside of the build. If you want to add something else to it, you're absolutely free to do it, like a closet or something like that. But we're going to need an 8 by 8 spacing right off from here. So if we count over these blocks, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then we're going to go that way, 8 blocks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then just connect this straight down to here and like i said this area will not be used right here so if you want to put something else here you're absolutely free to do it then right over here to the left hand corner of this room where we have our empty space we're going to come one block out from this wall break out two that's going to be another doorway into our kitchen and then over here in this room we're going to break out these two middle blocks and that'll be another area into our kitchen Next up, what you're going to do is take out stone bricks and polished black stone bricks. And now instead of in the basement where we did polished black stone on the outside and the insides were stone bricks, we're going to do the opposite. So now what we're going to do is just take out our stone bricks and go around this whole entire square with our stone bricks first. Make sure you line it up completely with every single one. It should be the same around the whole entire thing like that. There we go. Then we're going to take out our polished black stone bricks and go around this as well. But we're going to do that actually. Let's do that later on. Let's do it later on. Let's first make sure all our rooms are in place. So let's go ahead and now break out these two blocks. This will lead into the kitchen. We're going to break out these two blocks as well. And then over here at the main entrance area, when we walk in, we're just going to come out one block from here and break those two blocks right there. And now there's just two more doors we need to add over here that leads into the backyard area. We're going to count over three blocks from here. One, two, three. There's going to be a door there. And then over here on this side where that closet is in this one hallway that leads up and around into the kitchen, we're going to break out this block right here for yet again another doorway. And then what we're going to actually do is remove this block right here, placing in two more birch like that. So this is what the entire first floor layout will look like. And, oh, <laughs> almost forgot one more door, one more door. So we're going to place in two more acacia wood planks there. And then this door will lead into our dining room area. So we should be able to still fit down this absolutely fine. Yes, we absolutely can. So now that's all the doors completely done. So now what we're going to do is place in the flooring for every single room. Now, this is very easy. Every room is going to be acacia wood planks, except for the kitchen. The kitchen is the only place that's going to have block of quartz on the first floor. So let's go ahead and put our kitchen first. So just change out all the blocks inside your kitchen right here. That's next to your stone bricks with blocks of quartz. There we go. Now we're going to go ahead and fill up all of these other rooms with our acacia wood planks. And there we have it. All the rooms are filled with acacia wood planks and any spots that you see with grass, are completely up to you. If you want to add something else there, you absolutely can, but those are not spots that are used inside of the game. So it's completely up to you if you want to add something new in that area. Next up, I want you to take out some gray concrete powder. This is going to be our carpets in certain areas. So right here, we're going to have a carpet in our dining room area. So basically just come around the entire middle area, leaving the outside area acacia planks and fill it in with your concrete powder. all the way to the end of there there we go so it should just be a one wide of acacia and the rest should be concrete powder for that weird gritty kind of rug looking area then over here we're going to have another rug which is kind of look going to look like a big plus sign i guess so we're going to come right here to the middle of it and we're going to put in one two and you know what? i was actually off by one with this room so we're going to have to come out one more right here then we're just going to break out these blocks right here and this block right here and replace it over here next to this one. There we go. 
I was putting down my carpet. I'm like, something is completely off here. And it's just because I came out. Well, I didn't come out one far enough. So just bring that out one more. And now everything should fit perfectly. So we have to have three uh, <laughs> concrete powder there. Three right here. One, two, three. And you know what? This room is still off. This room is... This room is still... <laughs> I guess make it to... Oh, yeah. This has to now be a nine by nine spacing, not an eight by eight spacing that's right so before we had it an eight by eight spacing but it had to be a nine by nine spacing so this had to go one two three four five six seven eight and then nine like that so now we're going to bring in this wall just one more i'm completely sorry about that guys but i knew something was off over here. i knew something was off over so we'll come out nine this way and now nine this way one two three four five six seven eight nine and then bring it down over here like that and that'll give us a nine by nine spacing and now we can fill this in right here and then of course like i said over here you can do whatever you want and now instead of the wall being here it's going to be over here going all the way down to the end like that and now over here is where the doorway is going to be to get inside of our kitchen area like that there we go so i was off by just one there but it's nice that i caught it now before i started putting everything else thank thank goodness i did these rugs here and that let me know that i put it in wrong there but basically what we're going to do is make a three one two three right in the middle of this room then three here one two three then one two three one two three and see that's why i noticed it was off because this carpet was perfectly centered in this room but it was off by just a little bit <laughs> But thank goodness I've, I'm doing it this way. So it was an easy fix, you know, before we had to put in any of the decorations, the props and things like that. <laughs> thank goodness I'm doing it this way or that would have been a pain later on. And now we just have one more carpet to do. And that's right here inside the main area. We're just going to come over one block from this corner. I'm going to come over five blocks. One, two, three, four, five. And see, that's why we put those slabs in underneath. So this doesn't fall through. And we're going to make a five by five. So one, two, three, four, five. And I'll go ahead and just connect them together to make that gritty looking carpet at the entrance area as well. So that's going to be the floors for the whole entire first floor completely done. So now that we got the floors done, we're going to get the walls done. So wherever you see birch, wherever you see birch wood, this white wood, we're going to take out oak wood planks. And we're going to come up too high and do that for everywhere you see birch oak. Well, birch wood, not birch oak wood. <laughs> wherever you see birch wood, just come up two oak planks. So I'm going to go ahead and speed up the video here. All right, guys, and thank goodness I went back and counted because I was off. <laughs> you need to come up three, not two. So we're going to have to go around this whole entire thing just one more time. Make sure you come up three oak planks and then put it in. <laughs> I went and checked my thing. I'm like, why does my building look smaller than the other one? Well, that's why you didn't come up high enough. So we got to come up three oak planks and then we'll be done. We can move on to the next part. All right, so now once you have three high blocks of oak planks, we're now going to take out some birch wood planks and place a cap above all of your oak wood. All right, guys, so once we have all our wood in place, we're going to go to our kitchen. I think this is why I got confused is because the kitchen now is only four blocks high while everything else is five blocks high. I'm pretty sure that's why I got confused. So take out your polished blackstone, and we're going to come up two rows of polished blackstone right above our stone. And then what we're going to do is do a cap of stone right above that once we have it all in place. So let's go ahead and just quickly fill this all in. There we go. Fill this all in. And then we're going to take out our stone once again. And we're going to fill it in one more time right on the top of the cap. 
And that's going to make a four high wall. And I'm almost 100% sure that's why I probably got confused. <laughs> so let's go ahead and just fill this all in with our stone. There we go. And now we can go ahead and start placing in our doors. So wherever we have a single wide area, this is where our spruce door is going to be. And wherever we have a double wide area, nothing's going to be there. So we're going to come right here to where our single wide area is in our main entrance. And on every single one of these, we're going to place in a spruce door backwards. So come right here, look on the block, place in your spruce door backwards, and then go ahead and just place in your blocks right above them like that. And we're going to do that on every single one in here. So spruce door backwards, take out your wood blocks, place them in. Same thing on this one, spruce door backwards, place in your blocks. And then over here, we're gonna have another one wide one. We're gonna place in our spruce door right at the front, place in your blocks. Then we're gonna swing over here and I believe there is two more over here or just, no, one more over here. So now we're gonna go for our closet area, place in your spruce door right here for your closet, place in your blocks. There we go. And did I miss one? Did I miss one? I don't think so no i think i'm pretty good so then right here at the front door we can go ahead and place in our blocks as well there we go and then we have another two wide one over here so each two wide hallway should be three blocks tall so if you jump you shouldn't be able to hit your head so we're just going to place in our oak wood up here and our birch like that so now if when we walk in we don't hit our head when we jump and we're gonna do that on every single one so two oak two birch over here as well two oak two birch here as well and i believe that is nope this back area over here that leads over into the backyard to oak and to birch there we go and then same thing over here we're just going to place in some stone here some stone here and we're going to fill in this one wide area as well now that's going to be all of our walls done for the first floor and i know this wall over here isn't done but we don't have to worry about that until the second floor because nothing's going in there so now we can go ahead and get started up on the decoration. So this first room is quite simple. So we're going to come right here to where our door is. And let's go ahead and put that keypad in first. So item frame in here. Now to make the little keypad with the buttons I did, we're going to place in a loom. Go inside of our loom. Place a black banner inside of it with a handful of bone meal. And you're going to click this little one right up here, this top right square like that. Go ahead and create your banner. Place it back in. Go over here to the left square. Place in that one. Go ahead and make it. And place your banner back in and now we're going to do the bottom square so this one right here take the banner out place it back in and now do the bottom square as well and take your banner out and that's going to be the keypad right there so we can go ahead and place a keypad in and then break that and then right here to the left hand side of our door we're going to place in an iron bar with an observer block on top of it and that's going to be that little thing you got to repair or something i don't know <laughs> and then right off the door you don't have to do this it's completely optional but you can put the planks on it so i like to use acacia signs go into crouch and place the signs in right off the door where you have to you know take the sign so uh yeah the wood planks off with the hammer <laughs> I believe it's a hammer <laughs> so you got to take those wood planks off the hammer and then there's one more thing inside of this room there's going to be a one high painting right over here so we're going to come to where this door is, count over one block, and then up three. And this is where our one high painting is going to go. So we have to place a block here, a block here, and then go ahead and place your painting in like that. And get a one high painting off that wall. And that's going to be all the decorations in the first room. So actually, let's go ahead and move over to the dining room. Because this is the area with the most decorations out of the pretty much the entire build. Okay, so first things first, with the dining room area, let's go ahead and get our table and decorations on our table out of the way. So for my table, I'm going to be using smooth red sandstone stairs and smooth redstone slabs well red sandstone slabs so what we're going to do is come right down here and in the middle of our rug we're going to come over one block placing in two blocks one two take out your stairs and place them in upside down off of those blocks and we're gonna do the same thing on the other side come in one block like that placing your stairs upside down and then break those two blocks and then right in the middle we're just going to place in our slabs upside down and that's going to make our table Next up, we're going to take out some oak wood stairs. And then right here on this corner, we're going to place an oak wood stair. Right here on this corner, we're going to place an oak wood stair. And then over here, instead of having the oak wood stair like this across the way, it's actually going to be over here off the wall like that. And then over here, we have an upside down stair. So I just put it backwards like that. So that's going to be our table. Then over here in this corner, there's going to be a pizza box. So I use two birch trap doors. So place a birch trap door in like this. A birch trap door behind it, flip it up, and that's going to be the pizza box. 
Then over here where this chair is, one block away, we're going to place a weighted pressure plate light because we're going to make that gold plate that's on the table right there. And then there's a tea kettle right up here. So I just used a skeleton skull and I placed it in backwards for the tea kettle. Then over here in front of this chair, we have a phone. So I just put down an item frame with an anvil inside of it and turned it sideways for our phone. And that's going to be the table and all the decorations on the table completely done. Next up, we're going to do some decorations on this walling. So what you're going to need to take out is some acacia wood slabs, a fern, blue orchard, and we're also going to need some flower pots. So right here in this corner, come up three blocks. One, two, three. Take out your acacia wood slabs and place them upside down. One, two, just like that. And then we're going to do the same thing on this side. One, two, one away from the wall. Then we're going to take out our flower pots and place two right here, two right here. Place your blue orchard in the middle and then your ferns to the sides of the flower pots. Then right between both of them right here, we're going to need a one high painting. So just place a block here, here, and then place your painting right in the middle and get a one high painting. Then over here at the end of the table, we're going to need a two high painting right here. So just place a block here and here and then place your painting in on this left hand corner and I'll make a nice two high painting. You can use whatever painting you want. It's completely up to you. Then over here on this side, we're going to count in three blocks from this corner. One, two, three. Putting in another two high painting right here. So we can't just put in or we're going to get these huge paintings. So just count over two more blocks. One, two. Place a block here and a block here. And go ahead and place in your two high painting. You know, get whatever one you want. It's completely up to you. Then right here in this corner, we're going to take out some spruce fences and some spruce pressure plates. Place in a spruce fence post here. Pressure plate on top of it. And that's going to be a little table right there. And that's actually going to be this entire room completely done. And we technically need this whole area open over here for the first room, but this room, we do not need the area open up. So what we're gonna do now is put the ceiling in for this area. So just take out some dark oak wood slabs and dark oak wood planks and go around the whole outside with your dark oak wood planks first. And then what I want you to do is take out your slabs and now go around the whole entire outside once again, well inside with slabs. Just like that. And then right here on this side, we're going to place in two more planks. One, two. And then on this side, place in two more planks. One, two. Now, if we come to the inside, it should look something like this. Place in two lanterns here. Two lanterns here. And then place slabs in right in the middle. And now that's going to be even the ceiling done inside of this dining room. Next up, we're going to do the room that's right after the dining room right here. So first up, take out some spruce wood stairs and some spruce trap doors. So coming in, well, out of the dining room right here, going into this room, we're going to have our spruce wood stairs and spruce trap door. And it's going to be like a little bench right here. So off this corner, we're going to place a spruce wood stair upside down. Same thing on this side. And then place in two trap doors right in the middle. Then right above it, a block above it, we're going to place in two acacia wood slabs. And then right on top of this one, we're going to place in a flower pot with another blue orchard inside of it. Then over here in this corner, so if we turn completely around, looking at our kitchen, we're going to take out a brown concrete block and place it right here in this corner. And then we're going to place another table like we did here inside of this corner like this with our spruce. And then over here in this corner, we're going to place in yet again another brown concrete just to be kind of like a box. That's I put it in there because it kind of looks like a box. You can also use brown terracotta or brown wool. Just... It's supposed to be a box. <laughs> so now it's time to do the ceiling in this area as well. So we're just going to take out our dark oak planks again, dark oak slabs, and our lanterns once again. So just go around the whole entire outside area with your planks first. And then the inside area is going to be our slabs once again. So go around the whole out outside area with your planks, then your slabs. Just like this. And then the inside is going to be all planks right here and then place in four lanterns like that and that's going to be this little room completely done next up we're going to do the room that leads to the outside area but we're not going to do the ceiling on this one because the bathroom's right above this one and the ceiling's going to change just a little bit later on when we get to the second floor but for this area what we're going to do is come to this back corner where we leave into the outside backyard area we're going to take out our spruce wood stairs once again and our spruce trap doors i'm just going to place a spruce trap door bleh, a spruce stair upside down here and then a spruce stair upside down over here two blocks away from the ending and we're going to place in trap doors right between the whole thing 
Then we're going to take out some Acacia Wood Slabs and place some Acacia Wood Slabs two blocks up, upside down, right between the middle. Take out some item frames, place an item frame here with a tripwire hook inside of it. Make sure your key is turned this way, well, uh, <laughs> like that. Then over here in this corner, we're going to have a brown concrete block. I keep calling it a box. I keep keep wanting to call it a brown concrete box because it's just supposed to be kind of like a box inside this. But a brown concrete block here and a brown concrete block over here. And then right up here next to this brown concrete block, we're going to come one block over, one block up, and place in three acacia slabs right there. And that's going to be this entire room completely done until later on when we have to put the ceiling in. But I don't want to put the ceiling yet because the bathroom is going right above this and it's going to change up the ceiling just a little bit all right guys next up is going to be uh, the kitchen we're going to start off with the middle countertop that's going to be three away from each sides of our walls so just come out three from any wall it doesn't really matter so one two well four sorry one two three four and it should be four away from this wall as well and place in a white concrete block and then just come down three so on each side it will always be three away from each wall and now we're just going to bring it all the way down there till it's three blocks away from that wall right there. Then we're going to come back this way and just place in the rest of the blocks. Then right here at the end of the countertop, we're going to place in a gold block. And then over here at this side, we're going to place in a black concrete block. Then fill in the rest of the middle with our white concrete. Then on top of this black concrete block, we're going to place in a skeleton skull backwards like this. That's going to be another tea kettle kind of thing. And that over there is just going to be another one of those gold plates. Next up, take out your black carpet and place black carpet along the top wherever you see white concrete. Next up, we're going to place in our refrigerator. So we're going to take out our white concrete again. And over there at the back left-hand corner of our kitchen, we're going to come up four white concrete blocks. Take out some iron trap doors and place in two iron trap doors backwards off those white concrete blocks. Then next up, we're going to place in a furnace with a detector rail right on top of it. Make sure it's facing this way. If it's not, just place another one next to it and it should face that way. Then we're going to take out our white concrete blocks once again and just bring it all the way down to the end right here. Next up, break this white concrete block and we're going to place in a cauldron right here and that's going to be our sink. Then we're going to take out our black carpet once again and place it down on all of those white concrete blocks. Then right behind our sink, we're going to put in that window that you're able to jump through. So break out these four blocks and these four blocks right here and that's going to be the window you're going to be able to jump through at the end. Next up, swing over here to the right, and then two blocks in from that door right there, we're going to take out some spruce wood stairs and spruce trap doors, and we're going to place a staircase up to down right here, two blocks away from the wall, place in two spruce trap doors, and then place in another staircase upside down, and then right here, we're going to need a two high painting right in the middle, but we don't want this one right here, we want a just a two by two, so go ahead and take out your any block, doesn't really matter, and put in two like that, and then place in your painting right here and put in whatever two by two painting you want to. Then over here where the refrigerator is, we're gonna count out three blocks from this door. So one, two, three, then count up one right here. And we're going to need a one high painting right here. So place a block to the side, block above, and then a painting in like that. Then we're gonna count over four blocks from here. One, two, three, four. And then down here, we're gonna need another one high painting. So place a block right here next to this one, and then place in your painting and get another one high painting in like that. Now we can go ahead and put in our ceiling. So just take out your dark oak planks and fill in this entire top area with your dark oak planks. Once you filled it all in, come to the inside of your kitchen and right above where this skeleton skull is, we're going to place in a sea lantern right above it. And then, oh, actually that was one off right here. There we go. And then one right above this plate or <laughs> gold block, we're going to place in yet again, another sea lantern right here. Then we're going to go ahead and take out our slabs and we're going to put slabs around the whole outside of the walls. You technically don't need to do this. I decided just to add this in just to give it a little bit more depth. But if you really don't care, then you technically don't really need to do this at all. But well, I'm going to go ahead and just do it real quick. Go around the whole outside area with our slabs. And then what I also did was, again, you don't need to do this, but I went ahead and I put slabs around my sea lanterns as well. And then later on when we build the bathroom, there's going to be a little vent system that we're going to have to drop in through here. So we're going to be breaking out a couple of blocks in here later on, but that's the entire kitchen completely done. Next up, we're going to swing over here to the right-hand side of our kitchen, and we're going to do that room with the one couch inside of it. 
So take out some quartz stairs and over here at the back, we're going to place in three quartz stairs, take out some birch trap doors and place two birch trap doors on the sides of those stairs. Then right in the middle, we're going to have a little table. So we're going to put down a spruce fence and a spruce pressure plate once again, right on top of it. And then over here in the corner, we're supposed to have a table just like this, but we need to put an item frame on top of it. So I just used a spruce wood stair and I placed it in upside down in this corner off the block like that. And then we're going to put a little item frame and another key in there once we're done. But then once we have this in place, we're going to come back here right behind our couch. And we're going to place in three acacia wood slabs in upside down. Place a flower pot on this side and this side. And we're going to do the fern once again and the blue orchard in that one. And then over here on this side, we're going to have kind of like a falling shelf. So we're going to take out our acacia wood slabs once again. And we're going to place one in like this and one down next to it. So it kind of looks like it's hanging to the side. Next up, we just have a couple of one high paintings. So right here where our table is, we're going to come right off of this side of our carpet. And there's going to be a one high painting right here. And then there's going to be one up in this corner as well. There we go. Break these blocks. They're no longer needed. And now we can go ahead and place our key in on here. So place an item frame in, place a tripwire hook in, and then face it to the side like that. And now that's going to be this room completely done. So now all we have to do is just cap it off with some dark oak wood planks. There we go. And then right in the middle, we're going to place right above this table right here, a lantern. And that's going to be that room completely done. Next up is going to be this hallway and that closet right over there. So first things first, just take out your acacia wood slabs, come all the way down to the end over here. And we're going to count over two from this door, one, two, and place in two slabs like that with our acacia wood. And then we're going to have a two by two painting on this wall right here. So the best way to find that is come to our closet right here. I'm going to count over two blocks from this door, one two and then right here is where our two by two painting is going to be going of course we need to put in a couple blocks so we don't get one of those huge paintings so just come over two blocks this way placing in whatever block really doesn't matter just so we could stop it from making a huge painting and there we go now we got a two by two painting and then over here in this corner we're going to place down some brown concrete that's going to be another box and then we can go ahead and take out our dark oak wood planks and cap off the ceiling and then we can add in some lanterns to give it light there we go. So now what we're going to do is come over here and come out three blocks from here. One, two, three, placing in two lanterns. Same thing on this side. Just come in three and place in two lanterns. So one, two, three, placing in two lanterns. Then inside of this closet right here, we're going to take out our acacia wood slabs once again, placing in two right here to make a table, place in an item frame, and then go ahead and place in your tripwire hook to make a key or wrench or whatever's in these rooms. And then right up here, we're going to place in two more acacia wood slabs right side in. And then we can go ahead and add in our ceiling now with our dark oak planks. There we go. And then right here off the middle, we're going to place in a lantern. And that's going to make that little closet right there. And we can go ahead and close the door. So there is the hallway and closet area done. There is the main area done. And I'm pretty sure we have everything done on the first floor besides the outside area. I'm going to wait till the end for that one. But we're pretty sure I got all the rooms done on the first floor. And of course, we didn't cap this off just yet. Because the bathroom is going to be going there and this ceiling is going to be a little bit different from all the other ones. Alright guys, so now that the first floor is completely done, we can get started up on the second floor. So before we get started up on the second floor, we're going to take out our dark oak wood planks right here. And just fill this in around so it matches the same height as the first floor. So just place in your dark oak wood planks right here and match it up to the first floor. And I, I just noticed I looked over there. Actually, just bring it down one because I forgot that we have to put that light birch trimming across the whole thing so let's break that and then just bring our birch wood planks down straight across the top of our dark oak wood planks right here there we go now everything's right <laughs> so it should look something like that and now we can go ahead and add in our second floor so now it's time to get started up on that second floor so we're, i'm going to be using lime terracotta if you want to use a different green that's completely up to you but i think lime terracotta looks pretty much the best from my standpoint of how the game looked and we're also going to need our birchwood planks once again so first things first we're going to go around the entire area where we need to put our lime terracotta in and then we're going to have to build it up four blocks so just take out your lime terracotta starting from over here i'm going to go around the whole outside area of the build just like this make sure you're following right along do not skip this part because we have to go in over here on this side of the build so basically, once you get over to this corner and you swing this way, once you get to this window, stop one block in from the window and then count six blocks that way. So 
One, two, three, four, five, six. There should be a total of six blocks here. One, two, three, four, five, six, right from where this window is. And now we're going to go ahead and swing this now back to the beginning. Well, not back to the beginning, but back into the house. And then once you get here, stop. Because right here, we're not going to be putting any blocks. Because when we put in our bushes, where's where's my build? Oh, there. <laughs> when we put in our bushes, you won't be able to see this little kind of notch in the building right here. The only reason I did this is because I wanted that 9 by 9 spacing, that even spacing on the inside. So now we're just going to swing this all the way back to the beginning. So it should look something like this for the second floor. Now just go ahead and build this up four blocks. So we already put in one row. So two, three, four. You should have a total of one, two, three, four blocks. And go ahead and just build that all the way up and around the entire building. Once you have all four rows in, take out your birchwood planks once again and fill that in around the top of your entire lime terracotta. Now that we have the walls around for our second floor, we can go ahead and add in the staircase from the beginning area that leads up to the second floor. So we're going to come down over here and right here where our staircase is that leads into the basement, we're going to take out some dark oak wood stairs and dark oak wood planks. And we're going to come out three blocks from right above where our stairs are. So one, two, three, just like that. And then we're going to fill in all the way down to here and one up like that. And right here is where we're going to have a spruce door that leads us into our basement area. So now we can take out our dark oak planks and just fill that all the way up around this door. Bring it down to over here and place in your staircase right here again. One, two, and three. And again, one, two, and three. Place a block here. Place in your staircase yet again. One, two, and three. Just like that. And this last staircase will be flush to the birch wood that's right here. So one, two, and three. And that's going to be the second floor right there. We go ahead and take out some dark oak wood planks. And we're actually going to fill this around here because now we're going to have a little kind of like look over area for inside of here. So we're going to come out with these blocks right here to the end. Just like that. We can go ahead and remove these blocks and place in dark oak wood here and dark oak wood right here as well. And then we're just going to swing this all the way over to this side. And now we're not going to worry about this part because this will lead up right here to the third floor. So we want to finish the whole second floor. And then we'll get to the third floor that's going to be right here. So next up, just take out some oak trap doors. And we're going to place oak trap doors right here like this. We're going to place one in like this. Now, make sure you're in crouch mode too. So then you can go ahead and just place them right on top of each other. So go into crouch and then place in two like that. One, two, one, two, one, two, all the way down to here. And then go ahead and open them all up. There we go. And now what I like to do here as well is I like to just place in another oak block here. And if you want to, you can actually switch them up like this and put a birch one here instead. So it kind of looks a little bit better. And then what we're going to do is take our oak trap doors once again and do the same thing on this side. One, two, three. However, stop right here because this is where our staircase is going to go to get to the third floor. But we're going to go ahead and just place in a couple more trap doors right here. There we go. And now this is the spot that's going to lead us up to the third floor. But we're not going to worry about that right now. So now we're going to go ahead and start putting in the walls for the second floor. So let's start with the starting area of the game, which is right over here, because this is actually the easiest room to get done because the entire room is a six by six and it should match up perfectly with this square that we have right here. So just take out your lime terracotta and fill in right here with your lime terracotta and that should make a perfect six by six spacing. Take out your dark oak planks and just fill in this entire floor with your dark oak planks. And if you want to do something down here with this, you absolutely can. But that wasn't in the game, so I didn't put anything there. There we go. So now we should have a perfect six by six here. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. And then we're going to go ahead and just fill in the rest of this wall right here. And then cap it off with our birch. Just like that. Now we're going to take our wall and go around this entire banister area. So take out your lime terracotta once again. And go all the way down, just following your birch. Go all the way down like this. We're going to have to go past our birch here just a bit. And like that. Perfect. And now we're going to fill this all the way up. Just like all the other walls. Then we're going to take out our birch planks and go ahead and cap it off. And 
there we go and then right here we're going to have a doorway going into this hallway and there's going to be another doorway there as well but we're not going to worry about it. and does this get in the way of anything no we could switch this over to dark oak now next up we're going to do the hallway right here which is actually going to be a too thick wall right here because like i said a lot of this stuff doesn't get used so we're going to come right here to where this corner is and where we kind of broke open this door right here we're just going to count over five blocks from here so one two three four five and i'll go ahead and swing this back in this way and then bring out another line right here and we're just doing that so the doors look even on both sides if you really don't care about the way the doors look on both sides you can use this entire wall but i want that perfect you know two by two side on both sides with my spruce door in the middle same thing goes for this wall over here so now we have a one two one two if we didn't have this wall here it would look like that <laughs> so it's just me pretty much wanting everything to be even but if you don't care about that then you can absolutely use the entire wall right here but i'm gonna go ahead and do that and now we're gonna do is again fill in up on our wall the whole entire thing sorry i've been doing this for a while now so i'm like my words are getting a little bit jumbled <laughs> now but we're gonna go ahead and just fill this all the way up there we go all the way up on this side as well and on this side and then we're going to cap it off with that birch and then we're going to change that birch right down there on the floor over to dark oak wood as well so we're going to cap this off right here we can go ahead and add the blocks in right here as well and birch here and then go ahead and change out these blocks as well to our dark oak so it looks nice next up is going to be the bathroom which is good because then we can get that ceiling done for this room right here so inside of this hallway when we come in up from the stairs and we go this way this is where our bathroom is going to be so for our bathroom we're going to need some light gray concrete some quartz bricks and blocks of quartz and this is going to be a seven by seven room in here so we're going to come right onto this side and from our door we're going to take our light gray concrete and come over three blocks one two three same thing on this side one two three so that should be a total of seven blocks then we're going to go seven blocks that way so one two three four five six seven now we're going to swing this back over this way and then connect them together there we go now we're going to take out our quartz bricks and we're going to come up with quartz bricks all the way to the top to where the green is and do that on every single side all the way to where the green is there we go now we're going to take out our block of quartz and we're going to fill in the entire floor with blocks of quartz there we go and that's going to be the bathroom we can go ahead and add some more things there and we'll add in the doors later but now we can come down here and finally put in that ceiling so like you so as i said in the beginning see it kind of like messes up this entire ceiling so we couldn't just put in some normal ceiling so now we're gonna have to take out some slabs some dark oak slabs wood slabs there we go and fill in right here with our dark oak wood slabs now the good thing about this room i don't believe there was any lanterns or light in it in the game so we don't really have to worry about light but if you do want to add in light you know just add it to like maybe on a table or something like that because you can just put a lantern on top of a box and it'll, <laughs> it'll work absolutely fine so let's go ahead and just fill in our ceiling now with our slabs there we go and right here as well and now that ceiling will be completely done and then we'll also have our bathroom walls completely done now, before we actually move on out of this bathroom, I want to put in that drop area that's right here that will lead us into our kitchen area. So all you have to do is just break into here, change this block to quartz right here, and then we're going to come out one more block. I believe it's right here where we got to fall in. Yeah, right here is where we fall into the kitchen and should line up perfectly with the ceiling as well. So let's come back up here. And now we're just going to have to make it so we fall into here perfectly. So what I like to do actually is take out black concrete now and place it in right here. And place it right along everywhere there is. There we go. And then what we're going to do is cap this off right here so we can't go in there unless we use our crouching method. Then just come up two more blocks on this side. And a block up here as well. Take out some signs. Place a sign here. Place a sign here. And then just go ahead and place a water bucket right there. Oh, and <laughs> I forgot about the inside over there. And a sign down there so the water doesn't flow into our kitchen so now we should be fine so if we just run at this we'll go right through it and fall down into our kitchen and hopefully nothing got broken down here nope but look everything looks good so and well now I can't go back up that way as well but there is our first vent done inside the bathroom 
And of course, once we get all our walls done and everything in place, we'll do all the uh, decorations around the area and then cap everything off with the ceiling. But we have one more room we need to do right here. So for our last room on the second floor, we're going to come right over here and right off of where the bathroom is, we're going to come out nine blocks with our lime terracotta. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then just swing that back into this wall and go ahead and fill in the entire thing again with our lime terracotta all the way to the top. Next up, take out your birch and go ahead and cap that off with your birch. A lot of this will change. I just put the birch in there so later on on the third floor, it's a lot easier to tell where things are. And then right here on this side of the wall, we're going to go ahead and break out these two blocks. That's going to be the doorway in here. We can go ahead and switch this block out to dark oak wood now. And then over here is going to be that one little vent area that we won't be able to get into, but there is a little vent area there. So now it's going to be all the rooms completely done. However, actually, there's going to be a carpet in here now. There, was, there wasn't the right carpet color for this, so I kind of just used purple. But, I mean, you could change it up to whatever you want. But I went with a purple in here, so I'm just going to place in purple carpet inside of this room. I mean, it's not really going to do anything. It's just a carpet color, but there we go. It's kind of like a, oh, a burgundy, I guess. A burgundy color, which we do not have in carpet color. So I went with a purple. So, actually, before we start moving on to the decorations, go ahead and put it in all of our doors now. So... Right here is going to be a spruce door. Then right here, spruce door. They're all going to be spruce doors, guys. So <laughs> a spruce door right in here as well. On this side, there's also going to be a spruce door. I like to put this one one in, though, to the bathroom like that. And that should be all of our doors completely in. So let's get started on the decorations. I think I'll start with the starting room area with that bunk bed. And then we'll work our way into, like, you know, the hallway, then the bathroom, and then so on and so forth. And finish off with this hallway over here because all there is in here is just one painting. <laughs> So to start things off with the starting area room, we're going to come down here. I'm going to break out these four blocks and place in black stained glass. And that's just going to be a little window right here. And then we're going to need two purple beds to make our bunk bed. So just take out a full block, place in right here next to your window. Then we're going to go ahead and place in our bed, break these two blocks, place in another bed, and then take out some spruce trap doors and place them on the sides of your bed to make that bunk bed in the game. So there we go. And on this side as well, placing your spruce trap doors. And there is our bunk bed. Then over here on this wall, we're just going to have two acacia slabs like this. And that's just going to be kind of like a little shelving area, I guess. And then over here, we're going to have two one high paintings. So there's going to be one right in this corner. So we have to put two blocks in like this and place in our painting. And then there's going to be one right here as well. So two blocks right here. Place your painting. And there we go. Next up, take out some birch wood slabs and fill in this whole top area with birch wood slabs and fill this in right here. And then right in the middle of the room, it should be an even eight by eight right in the middle of the room. We're going to place in four blocks. Well, two more slabs like that. And then what I did was I just placed lanterns off of those blocks like that. And that's going to be the starting little room area where you start right here done. And then we're going to work our way over into this hallway. So starting off in this hallway, we're going to take out some spruce wood stairs and spruce trap doors. And right here in this corner, we're going to place in our spruce wood stair upside down like that. Place in your two spruce trap doors and then another one upside down to the side right here. Then coming in through this door from the main area, we're going to have acacia slabs upside down. Starting from here, we're going to go one, two and three like that. Then we're going to take out yet again our flower pots and do the same thing we've been doing this whole time. Fern in the left one and Blue Orchard in the right one. And that's going to be pretty much everything inside of here. So now we're going to take out our birchwood planks and fill in the entire ceiling with our birchwood planks. And now two blocks in from this doorway right here. So one, two. Well, on the third block, place in a lantern. Same thing on this side. Third block, place a lantern. One, two, three. Third block, place a lantern. So that's going to be this hallway done. So next up, let's go ahead and work on the bathroom. So to get started up on our bathroom, we're going to start with some great concrete over here in the corner. We're going to build our shower stall. So we're going to come right here, break out these four blocks and place in great concrete right here. Then we're going to take out some glass paints and come up three on both sides. One, two, three, one, two, three. And then we're going to take out some smooth stone slabs and place those right above it. And sometimes there's an item in here as well. So if you want to add in an item frame with an item, you can go right ahead and do that. Next up, we're going to take out some end rods and we're going to place in one block here and then an end rod off the side of it. Break the block 
And then we're going to take out some birch trap doors and place a birch trap door on both sides of our end rod. And this one might be a little bit more tricky. Let's see. Yeah, you might have to go from the top with this one and then go like that. So, you know, and then right here, we're going to have a quartz stair upside down with a lever facing down for the sink. And then to the right of the sink, we're going to have purple carpet right here. And then right next to our shower stall, we're going to have a yellow carpet right there. Now we can go ahead and fill in the ceiling. So for the ceiling, we're going to need a light gray concrete and one sea lantern. So come right up here and place in your ceiling like this. There we go. And then come back inside, place that last block. And then right in the middle of the entire room, break out this one, place in your sea lantern. And that's going to be the bathroom completely done with the little exit right here into the kitchen. And now, last but not least, is going to be this room right here. So over in this corner, we're going to place in a table. So we're going to place in a spruce fence once again with a spruce pressure plate on top of it. Then four blocks in, one, two, three, four. Break out these four blocks. It should be even on both sides. And we're going to place in black concrete back here like that. And then we're going to place in a fake window. And then over here in this corner next to our door, we need a two high painting right here. So we're going to place in a block here block here and place your painting right here and make it too high painting break those and then right here in the middle of this wall right about here or here it doesn't really matter we're going to place in a one high painting just like that and then we're going to take out our birch wood planks once again and fill in this entire area with our birch planks then we're going to take out our lanterns and right in front of our door right here right in the middle we're going to place a lantern here and over here as well right in the middle we're going to place a lantern on that side and that's going to be this room completely done and now last but not least in the main area we have to just place two paintings and then the whole second floor will be done uh ex excluding some lanterns there's gonna be some lanterns in here as well but we have to put in the third floor before we can put in those lanterns so right here between these two doors it should be right in the middle of both of them we're gonna place in a two high painting so as you can see it is three blocks from this door and three blocks from that door right there and then over here on this wall where this banister is, we're going to have a one high painting right here. So block here, block here, and have a one high painting in there. And now that's going to be the entire second floor completely done. And like I said, you have all this extra room here, except for right here. There's going to be a secret way down to here, but you have all of this extra room to do whatever you want inside of here. It's completely up to you. You know, I'm going to just <laughs> fill this in too, because why not? But there we go. All this extra room to do whatever you would like inside of the second floor. All right, guys. So now that we have the first and second floor done, all we have left is the third floor and the backyard. So everything's going pretty nice right now. <laughs> so for the third floor, we're going to need some light blue terracotta and some birch wood planks. So take out your light blue terracotta and follow along right as I'm doing, because we're going to be skipping over one block right here because it's just going to be a too high wall on this side. So take, starting from this corner right over here, actually, let's just come out one block from here and come all the way down to the end with our light blue terracotta. And then we're gonna swing this all the way around following the entire line of the backyard area. There we go, just keep following all these blocks right along. Everything should match up perfectly. And then right when we get to the end over here, make sure you do not come all the way to the end and then swing this back in over here. So now we're gonna go up four times with these blocks. So this is already one. This is gonna be two, three, and four. So go ahead and fill all that in. There we go. Then we're just going to take out our birch planks and cap off the entire thing. Oh, you know what? We have to also add in our windows. You know, what? I'll do that later on. <laughs> we'll get those windows in there. But first off, let's just get this wall in place. And then right over here, now we're going to place in just two blocks high of light blue terracotta right off of this birch wood. So one and two. Just like that. So it looks like something like this from the front. And you know what? Let's just go ahead and add in those windows. Might as well. So take out some black stained glass. And right above where our door is, right in the middle of the green, we're going to place in four right here. Now, normally in the game, you can't see outside the windows. But it, it just looks nice. <laughs> it looks good. If you want to make it so you can't see out the windows, you can just put some, you know, black concrete there or some trap doors or something. But I'm just going to make it so we can see out the window. And then right above where those stained glass windows are, we're going to do the same thing right here. And that's going to be those two windows 
And for the next set of windows, we're going to come right over here and just count in three blocks from here. One, two, three. Break out these four, placing in our windows. And then right underneath, just place in another set of windows like that. So that's going to be all our windows at the front. And then we're going to have actually uh, some black. You know what? Let's leave them open for now. Let's leave them open for now. We have to fill in the rest of the walls for our third floor. And then, you know, we'll start doing all our props once again. Well, all like decorations once again. And then we'll be completely done with the third floor. The third floor is actually a pretty fast floor to get done. So to get started off with our first wall up here, we're actually going to come right over here to where our glass is. I'm going to come right out from here, nine blocks with our light blue terracotta. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then we're going to go that way five blocks. So counting this one, one, two, three, four, five. Then we're going to go that way nine blocks. So counting the first block, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then from here, we're going to go that way 17 blocks. So counting the first block, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 blocks. Next up, we're going to go that way five blocks. So counting this one, one, two, three, four, five. Then we're going to go back in towards our build with four blocks. So one, two, three, four. Then we're going to go back towards our wall with our windows, counting out nine blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then next up, we're going to go back in towards our window right here. Three blocks. So one, two, three, and then just following this birch place in more blocks like so here's just a top view of the third floor's main room so over here we have our nine blocks then our five then our nine again then we have 17 on this side five here four here nine here three and then five so i'll just give a little top down view so you can see everything and now what we're going to do is go ahead and build these walls up all the way to the top like we've been doing this entire time and then we're going to cap it off with our birch. So once you have your main wall in place, we're gonna come back over here and we're gonna fill in the rest of this floor over here with our birch. Do not fill in over there, but just fill in this area right here with your birch planks for our flooring. There we go. And is there any missing over here as well? Nope. So just do that for now. And then over here, we're going to have a three wide room that just hooks up from this corner right here to that corner right here. Make sure it's just a three wide room. So let's come out one more, bring it down to here and then fit it in right there and then just bring up the wall. There we go. And then we can cap it off with our birch. That's going to be the three wide room. And then we can go ahead and fill in the floor with the rest of our birch. There we go. And just giving a heads up now, pretty much all of this area right here is not going to be used up into this point. So if you want to put something else in here, back here, go right ahead. It's completely up to you. But over here, we're going to have a, another hallway that leads into the front of where we start the game. So actually, before we put in that hallway, there's going to be another three wide room right here next to where this window is. So all you have to do is just connect down from here to the end of the wall over there, making a three wide room. And then place in your birch right here. There we go. And now we're going to place in our birch up here as well for our flooring of the room. And then also another thing is we're going to come in down here and make sure we fill in under here as well with birch. And now right above where your staircase is, right above it, there's just gonna be a two white thing of birch right above the entire walkway. See where this walkway is? There's gonna be two white thing of birch right above it. There we go. And then we're gonna fill this in over to here. Just like that. And now where our staircase is gonna be going to reach up here, we're gonna have a one white thing of birch going right down this area like that. And now we can go ahead and put in our staircase. So our staircase, we're just gonna come out one more block 
of dark oak wood planks and then start making our staircase go up it's going to be too wide but first let's put in the first one that's going to be right next to the walling so go all the way up until you're flush with the floor same thing on this side all the way up just like this and then we're going to go underneath the staircase placing in some upside down ones right underneath it so it looks something like that and then we can go ahead and fill in this front area with a little more birch and then right here is going to be the doorway to get into this three wide area room and then over here is going to be a fake window so we're going to break out these four blocks get out our black stained glass and we're also going to need black concrete as well so take out some black concrete and we're going to place in four glass blocks here and four black concrete right back here as well and then right here we're going to have that way that leads all the way down into this bottom corner area of this hallway so what we're going to do is take out our black concrete and go up this whole entire thing with our black concrete to the top same thing on this side go all the way to the top with your black concrete and then we're going to come inside of here and then we're going to come back over here to the main area we're just going to fit in our black concrete there and then we're going to put another piece of black concrete right here. And now we're going to have to put our water buckets here. But what I did right here so we can't see kind of like inside there like that. We're going to take out some spruce trap doors. So take out some spruce trap doors and place two spruce trap doors right here off the sides of these blocks. One. Two. Next up, take out some signs and a bucket of water. So a bucket of water and some signs. Place a sign right here on the inside. Place two signs right here and go ahead and place your water right inside of those trap doors so now when i run into it i can fall into my secret area but of course we'll take damage if you're doing this for like a mini game or survival you don't want your friends taking damage so what i did was i just placed another sign right here at the top with another bucket of water right here and that will catch you so you don't take damage so let's go ahead and do it one more time come back up top so now if we run right into this water source slip down underneath and fall down into this hallway next up we can go ahead and put those planks that go across this area so we can walk across so i'm just going to take out some more spruce trap doors and we're going to place some spruce trap doors going right across this area like that so now we have a little area we can walk across to the second area and then over here is going to be another doorway right here one in and we can place some more birch right there so this is going to be that three wide area with that kind of transformer thingy down there and you know, before I get ahead of myself, there's still one more room we have to do. So over here in this corner, right above where our bathroom is, we're going to come in one block and then come over four. So one, two, three, four, making a three wide hallway. And then we're going to go that way, 15 blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And then we can go ahead and swing this in right here and then fill this all in to the top. There we go. Fill this into the top as well. And then cap it off with your birch. Oh, I did not do this side. <laughs> there we go. And cap it off with the birch. And then right here, there should be a area to get down right in front of. The we want to fall right in front of that door right there. See it? That door right down there? That's where we want to fall right in front of. So let's place this right here. And then we're going to have another one of those kind of tunnel thingies <laughs> right here so we're going to need our black concrete once again so take out your black concrete and then we just need our water bucket and sign so black concrete we're going to place black concrete right here 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 and here and then we're going to have our water right here so right off this back one we're going to place a sign first and then right here we're going to have two boxes with signs on them so actually let's go ahead and take out some brown terracotta and brown concrete so brown concrete and we're also going to take out some brown terracotta. And we're going to place those right here. Brown concrete, brown terracotta. Place our two signs off the sides of them. And then place our water bucket right here. And that'll create another crawling place. So if I go like that, I crawl through and fall right in front of this door. Perfect. So now that we have all our rooms in place, we can go ahead and put in our doors. And then we get started up on the decorations. So spruce door here. Spruce door over here and a spruce door right here actually it's i believe it's yeah three blocks in one two three break these two yep three blocks in and a spruce door there as well 
Now we can get started up on the decorations for the third floor. Then we can cap it off with some black concrete and lights. And then we can put this, uh, the roof on it. <laughs> and then we'll be completely done with the house itself. And then we can work on the backyard and a couple of other little things. So first things first, let's come over here to this corner. And we're going to take out some brown terracotta and brown concrete. Place a brown terracotta here. Skip a block. Place some brown concrete. Then we're going to skip over three blocks from here. So one, two, three. Take out some quartz stairs and place in three quartz stairs. One, two, three. With birch trap doors on both sides of them. Just like that. Then right over here, we're going to have a one by two painting on the floor. So I'm going to skip over two blocks from our couch. So, you know, one, two, skip over three, sorry. And then we're going to have a one by two painting on the floor. And then over here in this corner, we're just going to have one more box like that. Then over here in this corner, we're going to place in a brown concrete and brown terracotta here as well. And then we're going to have a two by two painting starting off the top of this box here. So place a block here, block here. And then go ahead and place in your painting. Go ahead and break these blocks like that. Next up, take out some purple carpet. And we're going to put a sideways carpet on the floor right here. So starting off right from this corner, we're going to come out a block and place in four purple carpet. One, two, three, and four. And I don't know why I kept doing that. Then we're going to place in six from here. One, two, three, four, five, six. It keeps doing that. <laughs> then we're going to place in seven from this one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then we're going to place in six from here. One, two, three, four, five, and oops, sorry, six like that. And then we're going to place in four yet again right here. So one, two, three, and four. So we have a kind of like sideways looking carpet thing. And that's going to be this whole room completely done. We'll worry about capping it off later because the whole entire roof of the third floor is just going to be black concrete. Next up, let's do the room right up from the stairs. So come down here, go inside here, and this is the next room we're going to be doing. So over here in this corner, we're just going to take out some spruce wood slabs and place three of them upside down. Then we're going to skip up a block and place three more upside down right here. Then we're going to take out some spruce trap doors and place in three spruce trap doors. One, two, three. Go ahead and close them. Just like that. Actually, these are wrong. <laughs> place them in normal like that. There we go. And then three on this side as well. One, two, and three. Go ahead and close all your spruce trap doors. And then right off of this one is going to be one of our keys. So item frame and a tripwire hook. Then up in this corner, we're going to skip over a block, placing in two acacia wood slabs like that. And then in this corner, we're going to place in two acacia wood slabs just like that. Now we can go ahead and cap it off with our black concrete. We're going to do the little rooms. I just want to keep the big room open for now so we can easily get into each room. So there we go. Fill this all in with black concrete. And then on the inside, we're going to take out our lanterns, placing a lantern right here and a lantern over here as well. And that's going to be that room completely done. Next up, we're going to do this room over here to the right that has that fuse box. So we're going to come right here, go inside the room. And we're going to take out our spruce fence and our spruce pressure plates. And we're going to place one right here and one right here right when we walk in. Then right up here, we're going to have a one high painting. So place a block here and here and have your one high painting in like this. And then one block away from our table, we're going to have a brown concrete block here. And then one away from that one, we're going to have a brown concrete block like that. Then right in the middle, we're going to have our iron bars with our observer block on top of it. Now we can go ahead and cap it off with our black concrete. And then we're going to place lanterns off the black concrete as well. So one here and one here. And that's going to be that room completely done. Let's go ahead and close the door. And now all that's left is this room right here and then we got to cap off this whole main area and then we're gonna stick a roof on it and we'll be done completely with the entire house except for the backyard area so to get started up on this last and final hallway we're gonna come over here open the door and right when we walk in we want to break out these four blocks there's going to be a fake window here so take your black concrete placing in four then take out your black stained glass and place in four like that and that's going to be that fake window then we're going to take out some spruce trap doors and one block away from that window, we're going to place spruce trap doors going up the whole side until we reach the birch. And do the same thing on this side. One, two, three, and four like that. Then right next to this side, we're going to have a two by two painting. So we're going to place some blocks up like this. And then place in your two by two painting right there. Then over here in this corner, we're going to come one block out and make a table with our spruce wood stairs and trap doors once again. So spruce wood stair upside down. Placing in 
two spruce trap doors. Actually, three, maybe? It might have been three. It might have been three. No, no, two, two. <laughs> now I'm kind of forgetting what I did there. So, And then we're going to place in another staircase upside down. Place an item frame. Take out a tripwire hook. Place it in there. And flip it sideways until it's looking directly at you in this corner. And then right here, we're just going to place in one more brown terracotta block to make another box. And that's going to be this room done. So now all we have to do is just cap it off with our black concrete. And instead of using lanterns in this room, we're going to be using sea lanterns. So place these all in. Go to the inside. And then right here, break this block. Place in a sea lantern. Same thing on this side. Break this block right here. And place in a sea lantern. And that's that room completely done. So now it's time to fill in the ceiling for the main area. So what we're going to do is just take out our black concrete once again. And fill in this entire main area with black concrete. And there we go. Everything is filled in. Now right over here where this door is, right in front of it. We're just going to come out two blocks and place a sea lantern right there. And then right over here where this couch is, we're just going to come out two blocks from this couch, break this block, and place a sea lantern right here as well. And that's going to be all the lighting from this part. And you know what? We actually have to put the lanterns in down there. I completely forgot about that. So let's take out some lanterns because everything looks super dark down there. And I'm like, why? Oh, yeah, I never put the lanterns in. <laughs> and then right here in this corner, we're going to have a lantern. And then over here in this corner, we're going to have a lantern. Right over here, we're going to have a lantern again. Oh, you know, we never filled in this right here as well. So I'm going to fill this in with just a couple more blocks. Make sure you don't hit your head when going down the stairs. There we go. Everything is fine. Because I was like, there is something wrong there as well. But we're going to have a lantern in that corner. And then over here in this corner, we're going to have another lantern as well. So let's take out our lanterns. Place another lantern right here in that corner as well. And that's going to light up the entire area down there. And now we have all the rooms done. So now all we have to do is go put a roof on top of this house and start working in the backyard. So, and not placing a lantern right there. So first off, let's get that little part of the roof done and then we'll do the big part. So the little part, we're going to need some polished black stone brick stairs. So we're gonna come right here and just go around the whole outside with our staircases and do that all the way until you reach the top. So just keep going all the way around. Make sure you don't place them upside down like I just did. Oh my goodness. You know, I'm just going to go like this. There we go. <laughs> now we're going to go ahead and place it in. And then right when you reach the top right here, we're going to take out some slabs and place slabs going along the top. And that's going to be the little roof right there. And now for the big roof, this one's going to be a lot easier because we don't have to use stairs here. We're just going to be using slabs and also bricks, the full block of brick. So what we're going to do is just come all the way around this side with our slab all the way down here. Now, once you reach this area, stop right here. And now just bring it straight across this way like this and bring it right here because we want our roof to be completely even. Then we're just going to take out our bricks and bring that right along our slabs. And we're just going to keep interchanging them, guys all the way into the top so i'm going to speed up the video here you don't need to, to watch me interchange them all maybe at the end but let's go ahead and get the rest of this done And there we go. The roof is completely done. So now all we have to do is come back over here to where I told you not to put anything. And now just slab off the rest of this area. And then for right down here, we're going to do the same thing that we did for this top roof area. We're just going to take out our slabs. And starting from here, go all the way down. Don't worry. This is going to be covered by the bushes. So you don't need to worry about it. And place your slabs in right here. And then take out your full blocks. And bring those all the way around. And just keep interchanging them until you get to the top. And there we go. That's the whole entire house completely done. So now what we have to do is the outside, that kind of like little basement area that goes into the basement. 
and we will be completely done. And also a couple of bushes and fence posts. Fences. <laughs> All right, guys, so to get started up on the backyard area, I want you to take out some spruce leaves. And starting from over here in this corner, we're going to come out 15 blocks that way with our spruce leaves. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Then we're going to go that way 25 blocks with our spruce leaves. So, starting from this one, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. And then we're going to swing it right back in to our house. Just like that. Next up, what we're going to do is actually dig down in our entire yard by one, except for right here in front of this door. So just skip over four blocks from your door going to the left. So one, two, three, four. Dig out one, two, three. And then swing this all the way down over to where your leaves are. And now we're going to dig out all of this area except for right here. So go around wherever your leaves are and dig out one down throughout the entire area. All right, guys, in the back, I quickly went ahead and just did the fill command. So I just made the entire bottom also grass just so it looks nice for the tutorial. Next up, what we're going to do is just come up one more thing of our spruce leaves around this entire area. Just for now, we're going to bring it up a lot more later on. But for right now, we don't need to go all the way up and around the building just yet. Then starting over here from where our door is, we're going to take out spruce trap doors. And we're going to place three spruce trap doors right here. One, two, three. And go ahead and flip them all up. Then next to it, we're going to do two. And then three. And do that the whole way around. So when I flip them up, get this nice looking wooden picket fence. So two, three, two, three. All the way till we reach that corner. And stop right there. Do not go into that corner right there. And go ahead and flip all your trap doors up. There we go. And then right here, we're going to swing to the inside. And off this corner, we're going to put in three. One, two, and... That, come on. <laughs> One, two, and three. And then go ahead and open them all up. There we go. And then do two here. One, two. Then, you know, keep interchanging them. One, two, three. One, two. There we go. And then skip out that corner right there. And open them all up. There we go. So now this is what it looks like from the inside right now. And then we're going to come over here and do the same thing we do. Oh, you know, we do have to come one more over here. So one, two, and three. There we go. And now over here, we're going to do the same thing. Go up three. One, two, and three. And then just do it the same way we did it. One, two, one, two, three. Along the entire thing. And then go ahead and open them all up. There we go. So that's going to be all of them. And you know, let's bring up the leaves one more time. Just so it looks a little bit better for right now. We're going to be bringing them up a lot more later on. But I just want to make sure it looks a little good while we're doing this. There we go. There we go. So that's going to be the back. Oh, I almost forgot these ones over here. We're just going to come up three right here on both of them. One, two, and three. One, two, and three like that. And go ahead and just open them up. There we go. So now that's going to be the backyard with the fence. And then right here, we're going to switch out these blocks to stone. And then right underneath our window right here, we're going to place in two more spruce trap doors so we could jump into the window. And then right here around this entire area, skipping over one block, we're going to break down one. Take out some fences, doesn't matter what color it is. And then right above those fences, place in green carpet. So that way we don't have to jump up to get up there, we could just walk right up it. Next up, we're going to build that little shack in the back. So we're going to come right here from where this spruce trap door is. I'm going to count over four blocks. One, two, three, four. Placing in an oak wood plank right here. And we're going to make a six by six spacing. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Then going this way, six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And then just swing this back over here. Making a six 
by six spacing. Then we're gonna fill in the floor with our oak. There we go. And then at the front, we're gonna break open these two blocks, filling in this with oak as well. Next up, we have to come up four blocks on both sides. So one, two, three, and four. Two, three, and four, and then cap it off. Take out some spruce trap doors and place that on the inside, on both sides. That's gonna be the door to get into the shack. And now bring up all the other walls, three blocks. So one, two, three, like that. Go around the entire thing, building it up three blocks. There we go. Then right here in the middle, we're gonna come up two more, and then two more like that. Same thing on this side, two more on this side. Then we're gonna take out some oak stairs and fill this in. There we go. Same thing on this side, oak stairs. Filling these blocks in. And then capping it off with some more oak stairs. And then on the inside, we're gonna take out our oak wood planks once again and fill in this. And right at the front, place in two lanterns like that. Then over here on the back side, we're gonna need some stone. So take out some stone. We're gonna need stone, blue stained glass, and stone slabs. So place in your two stone, your two blue stained glass, and your two slabs right above it. And then right next to it, take out some acacia wood slabs and place two in upside down. And that's gonna be the shed completely done. Next up, we're gonna put in our well over here in this corner. So coming right out from this door, we're gonna count out eight blocks going that way. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then on the eighth block, we're gonna place in a stone brick and then place in two more here and one more here. And then right here, we're just gonna dig down one extra block just so we can't see down there. And we're gonna place in three chains, one, two, and three. Then on both sides of that chain, we're gonna place in dark oak fences with two blue carpets on both of them. And then right in the middle, we're gonna place in blue wool right on top of that chain. And that's going to be our well right there. All right guys, so this next part is gonna be the last part of our house. And then we're gonna do the picket fence and the bushes and we'll be completely done. But this thing can get pretty annoying because it is on an angle. So we're actually gonna go look at the other one first before we jump into doing this. So basically we're gonna be coming down four staircases with our dark oak wood. And then from the left-hand side, we're gonna count down four blocks and we're gonna replace our flooring with brown terracotta. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four. And then we're gonna go on an angle. As you can see, we're on a big angle right here, seven blocks. So it's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, and then seven blocks in. So just giving a heads up there, it's gonna, it's gonna get a little confused because like I said, it's on an angle. So it looks weird. But once everything is said and done, it should fit in perfectly with our basement and we can make this one high crawling area to our basement area inside of our house. So let's go ahead and get started up on this part. So we're gonna come right back here behind our shed. We're gonna take out our dark oak stairs. And then right here, one block away from our picket fence, we're gonna dig out these three blocks. And we're gonna come down with four of them. So there's one. Two, three, and last but not least, four. And now we're gonna dig underneath our grass right here so we don't hit our head and we can walk down to right here. Now we're gonna take out our brown terracotta and just like we did before, we're gonna count out four blocks. So one, two, three, and four, just like that. You know, let's add a little bit of light in here just so we can see things. Now we're gonna go this way, just like I showed before, seven blocks. So that's gonna be one. And we're gonna do it again, two. So that's one, two. And if you wanna count this one, then it's gonna be eight. So, you know, let's just do eight. So let's just start counting from the beginning. One, two, three. Four, five, six. It's getting a little dark in here, so let's add a little bit of light. Seven, eight. So there we have eight blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. 
Now we're going to go back over there. We're going to count out how many we're going to need for that side right there. So let's just quickly fly over there. I'm just doing this because when things are on an angle like this and you have to dig it out, it gets pretty annoying. It really does. So right from this side of the staircase, we're going to start going on our angle right away. So it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So let's go ahead and now go over to that side. And we're now going to count out nine blocks. So we're just going to fly back over here. And now from the right hand side of our staircase, that's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's add a little bit of light in here. Seven, eight, and nine. So now we can go ahead and dig out the middle and connect the two together. And let's put our light back in because it's really dark in here. There we go. So now we have that nice zigzag pattern that should be absolutely fine. And now we're also going to break out this top area one more time as well. So just follow right along your zigzag area. Go. You should be able to see the top part of that shed up there. Well, I should say the flooring of the shed, not the top part of it. That would make no sense. <laughs> then the shed would be upside down. So let's go ahead and just dig out this area until we reach both sides together. There we go. Perfect. And now we can fill in the rest of our floor with our brown terracotta. And we're going to need to put our light back in because this has to be broken. And we'll worry about doing the walls in a second. We still need to finish off the rest of this area and connect it to the basement on the inside of the house. So next up, we have to find out how much we have to dig out this way for this part of the wall. So we're going to go back over there and we're going to count from this block right here. But it should be five. I'm pretty sure. I'm 100% sure it's five. But let's just do it together. Make it easier on ourselves. These zigzaggy areas, really annoying. Let's come back down here. And we dug out to right here. So if we count over one, two, three, four, and five blocks. I was absolutely right. <laughs> well, I knew I was kind of right there. And then we're just going to connect it to right over there. So remember that. Five blocks from this side of the wall. So now we're going to fly back over here. I'm sorry for doing this. Like I said, it can get annoying. And it can, it can get annoying also when people know what they're doing and I keep going back and forth like this. But I'm just going to try to make it as easy as possible for you guys. So I'm going to count over five blocks from here. So that's one, two, three, four, five. And now we can go ahead and dig out to there on both sides. There we go. So if we did everything correctly, this block right here should lead into our basement. So now we got our form, floor in place. Bleh. We can go ahead and dig out this area. And this should lead right to that corner part of our basement. And there you guys have it. See? Right to the corner part of the basement. Now what I want you to do is fill in the rest of this flooring with our brown terracotta. Same thing with the walling right here. We're going to fill this in with brown terracotta. And then, oh, you know what? Actually, this is going to have to be oak wood here, like that and like that. There we go. Because this side right here is going to be our oak wood. Now, what we're going to do is make it so we can crawl in here like we've been doing this entire time. We're going to take out a bucket of water. And we're going to take out some signs. So, right here, we're going to place in two signs. One. And we're going to have to switch this block out with our oak. Two. And then right here above us is going to be more brown terracotta. So, let's go ahead and fill this in actually right now. So fill in the top with brown terracotta. Fill in this part with our oak planks. There we go. And then right inside here, we're going to place in one more oak sign. And then up top, we're going to place our water. So now if I'm not in fly mode and I run at it, I can go ahead and crawl through a one eye space. And now we're going to do the same thing on this side. We're going to place in our two signs. Another sign down here. Place in our water bucket. And now we can go back over there. Now that that's done, we can go ahead and now fill in all of our walls right here. 
with oak wood planks. So just go through every piece of dirt right here. Do not change out the top ones because that is actually our grass block. We're going to leave that as dirt, but go through the whole entire zigzaggy area and change all these blocks out with oak. So once you've filled in all your walls with oak, just come over here to this corner. I'm going to take out some light gray concrete and place in four of them like that. Then take out some spruce wood stairs, some spruce trap doors, place two in right here and right here with a trap door upside down. And then right here off of any one of these blocks, it really doesn't matter. Just place in a lantern. Let's go ahead and put it right there. And now we can go ahead and remove this light down here. And there you guys have it. You are completely done with the entire main build. All that's left to do now is add in a couple more bushes, put our picket fences at the beginning, and we will be completely done. So let's go ahead and do our bushes and our picket fence at the front first, and then we'll go ahead and wrap the bushes around the entire building. So starting over here from the right-hand side, we're gonna take out our spruce leaves. I'm gonna count out 14 blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. Now, all you have to do is you know, just follow this line right here and make it even with this side. So just come out right here and bring it down. It should be, it should match up perfectly with your walkway right here. Next up off this side of the building, we're gonna take out our spruce trap doors and we're gonna count over five blocks. One, two, three, four, five. And then on the fifth block, we're gonna place in spruce trap doors going all the way down till we're one block away from our walkway. Same thing on this side, skip over a block and place in your spruce trap doors, just like that. And now starting from the beginning area, right here, we're gonna do three high spruce trap doors here, and then two here. And we're gonna do the same thing we did in the back. So two, three, two, then three, two, three, two, all the way down until we reach those bushes, like that. And now we're gonna go ahead and open them all up. And there we go. Same thing on this side. Three, then two. So crouch. Three, then two. And now we can go ahead and open them all up. And that's going to be the picket fence at the beginning. Next up, all you have to do is just break up your leaves six blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six. If you want to make it go higher, you're absolutely free to do that. It looked pretty high in the game, but I feel like six is good enough for Minecraft. <laughs> but just bring it up six blocks, and we're going to go around the entire thing twice. I made it too wide just so you can't see through the bushes that easily. So, you know, just wrap your leaves all the way down the side of your building. Like this to over here. And we're gonna bring it up six times. And you know what, actually let's swing to the other side because that side is actually just a tiny bit different. It's the same thing. We're just gonna bring it up six blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six. However, we have that one notch on the building right there that I said we were gonna hide with the leaves. So instead of going around it, instead of going around this notch, we're gonna go right over it so you know one two three four five six and then we're just gonna go right over it like that with our first set of leaves because that's i mean they never show this side of the building in the game so i guess it really doesn't matter but i just wanted to make it so it was hidden there because it keeps the uh, house looking even around the whole entire thing so we're just gonna come up our six blocks it's like this if you want to make it only one wide you're free to do it but if you do too wide, I think it looks a lot better because then it hides up a lot more stuff. But there we go. We're going to bring this right over to here. Like that. There we go. And now we're going to bring this up six blocks. So we already did three. So there's four, five, six. Bring it this way. And there we go. So now if you only want one row of them, you're completely done. You can stop here. You don't have to have two rows the only reason i did two rows is because when we're looking through it you can kind of see like right through them but if we do two rows you could see that when we look through this one right here there you can see a lot less than what you could see right here that's the only reason why i did it if you even want to make it thicker and make it three rows so you can absolutely not see through it then that is completely up to you but i'm just going to go ahead and do my two rows so i'm just going to skip through the video here and then when we come back we'll be completely done all right, guys, and I'm back. I just went ahead and doubled down on all of my bushes, but we're going to go ahead and give this a once over. We're just going to look at everything, make sure I didn't forget anything. That's the only reason why I'm doing this. But here is the front entrance into our piggy chapter one house building. Oh, that, there we go. See, I forgot something already. <laughs> I didn't put a lantern here. 
and I didn't put a lantern here. There we go. I was wondering why it was so dark when I walked inside here, but there we go. So here is the little opening area. So let's go to the basement first and work our way up like I did at the beginning. So here is our basement area. We have this side room right here that leads into that backyard area. Then we have the garage basement area down over this way. Come down here. Here's our little garage with this side room right here. Let's work our way up now to the first floor with the, the dining room. Just giving a little flyby. I'm just making sure I didn't forget anything inside this building. So here is that. Okay, we're good there. The dining room area. Everything looks fine. It doesn't look like I forgot anything. Then we can work our way over here to this room. Everything looks fine. Here is the kitchen. Everything again looking good. Doesn't look like I forgot anything. Here's the window. We could jump out. Jump back in. Then we have this side room over here with the couch and the paintings. Then over here we have this closet area. And then we have the way down from the third floor area right up there. So here is the whole. So that was the whole first floor and basement. Then there is the second floor. So let's see if I forgot anything up here. Looks good. The area where we start looks fine. Did I forget anything in the bathroom? Nope, everything looks good. There is the way down there, but we're not going to go through it because we already know it works. Then there is the side room right over here. Nope, everything looks fine. Then we can work our way up to the third floor. This room right here looks good. Then we have the way down from over there. Then this little main area, everything looks fine. Then we're good over here. Yep. And then last but not least is this room right over here. So you know what? Might as well go in this one at least. <laughs> there we go. So all the rooms look fine. Doesn't look like I forgot anything. Let's go to the backyard area. It was the last thing we did the backyard area. So I'm pretty sure I got everything down packed with the backyard area as well. Yep. We got the well. Got the shed. Got this little bottom area that goes underneath. That will also lead us back into the piggy house. But there you guys have it. That's how you build the house from piggy chapter one. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like subscribe and stay tuned with my newest videos. All right, guys. Peace.